Okay. Big, exciting guest for us this evening. We're going to be having good games. Stephen Bajo O'Donnell with us. Hello. Hi. I'm not what that exciting. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, you always get to do the interviews and I'm a bit of a fan, so I wanted to be here as well. <laughs> okay, well, look, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for inviting me. Do you want to take the first question then? No, that's fine. Okay, well, look, you're a big Batman fan, mm. as, we've, uh, as we've said. Um, how did your love of Batman begin? Uh, probably the iconic 90s television series, you know, they're so popular, but when I was a kid, it was the first cartoon that was, it didn't patronise you, mm. you know, it felt like an adult kind of cartoon, I felt cool watching it, yeah. and there were such interesting dark stories, and, and such dark themes, and that just gripped me, it was mm. just so interesting, and Kevin Conroy was amazing in it, of course, uh, sure. the voice of Batman, and I actually had the privilege of meeting him uh, once, and we talked about uh, this particular episode called The Grey Ghost, which... Uh, he, Adam West was in as well. Oh, and yeah. I remember kind of like, that one. Oh. That's right. You know, yes. you, it was just such an incredible, and that, I think that's my favorite episode out of yeah, the whole yeah. series. And of course, Harley Quinn came from that series as well. She did. That's true. Um, and what a great character she is. Yeah. I loved Heart of Ice in that one, the, the Freeze one. That was oh. so heartbreaking. Those Dr. Freeze episodes were just so beautiful too, they because were. they were really, um, they were heartbreaking. They really were. Yeah, they had, they had passion in them and emotion. Yeah. And, and watching this cartoon as a kid, you know, and feeling like I wanted to cry, yeah. that was a new experience. <laughs> Absolutely, you're right, it was quite dark. And barring the animated series, what would you say is your, your favourite interpretation of Batman? Probably the Justice League animated series. No. I, I, like, I like Batman in the series because he... He's the, the voice of reason, yeah. you know, when everyone else is going off the rails, he's like, you guys are idiots, you know, he's the <laughs> voice of reason, and once again, Kevin Conroy, Kevin of course, Conroy yes. but also I like it because Batman is a man of so few words, and, and trying to see him communicate mm. with all these other characters, and they've all got these fantastical abilities, of course, and he's just a guy, and just yeah. seeing him still kick ass, and, <laughs> and, and trying to talk to them all in that, mm. it, it provides some wonderful comedy, and mm. some really interesting conflicts, when they go and be the hero, and he's like, be on there, guys. I'm you down. just you got to <laughs> calm down and focus on it, and you have to be. Sometimes you have to be the bad guy, and that's what Batman is. Sometimes yeah. Yeah. bad guy, but with a, a good intention, mm. you know. Mm. And so that's why I like him in that series. Yeah, no, awesome, awesome. Okay, obviously we've got the new Fifty Two and everything that's happening with that. I, I mean, are you excited for the future of Batman? Where do you see it going? I'm just excited about Batman all the time. <laughs> you know, um, I've only started reading the Detective in the new Fifty Two, the Batman Detectives, and, and I'm enjoying that. But I'm also enjoying the, him in the Justice League because the opening of the Justice. League in the new 52 is, is so exciting and mm. and um, just all those all those huge panels of just things exploding exploding uh, <laughs> exploding you know it's 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 a really exciting intro so I'm hoping he does write in that too especially because I'm such a fan of the Justice League yeah. but I, my favorite um, Batman comic though would have to be Black and White Volume One For sure because it's just um, when I, when I got a hold of that, I wasn't a huge comic book guy, mm. and seeing just so many different wonderful artists yeah. and seeing their interpretation of them and the way they even drew him was so vastly different yeah. and, and from the dramatic to the simple and, and seeing all these really cool self-contained stories so I didn't have to go and buy another 20 after that. <laughs> sure. It just it really inspired me to, to focus a bit more on Batman, Batman's origins in comics. And, and how um, many of those black and whites do you have? I've only got two. Yeah, and I've just learned there's a third one. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Um, well, you know, it's it's interesting that you do say that, actually. Yes. <clears throat> As a thank you for coming on the show, we have gotten this for you. Oh, Black and white so number much. three. Number three. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we thought it'd be a nice little keepsake. <laughs> you don't know what I did to the first two. <laughs> Tell us. What did you do to the <laughs> well, first two? I've got a lot of figurines, yeah. a lot of Justice League figurines, and a lot of Batman figurines. Well, maybe maybe at ten Batman figurines. Mm. Um, and I like the art so much. <laughs> it's going to break your heart that I actually took a lot of the pages out of the <laughs> volume one and two and put them around my wall because I wanted to see them all the time. <laughs> I don't want to just have them have now it's too that's late. The, <laughs> I promise I won't oh, cut this one. I, I get it, but still, that's, <laughs> oh, that's painful. I know. It's, I just buy another one. It's all right. I okay. put it on my shelf. But that's I just wanted to see them all the time and see them. <laughs> They're such beautiful, mm. beautiful artworks, yeah. and especially, and there's, I must say, there's about a hundred of them smashing through a window, and they're my yes. favourites. Yes, Classic Batman smashing like through a window. window. Always a great frame. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, well look, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, we, we love Good Game, we're definitely going to yes. keep watching. I thank hope, you. hope you keep watching our show. Absolutely. And um, yeah, look, thank you very, very thank much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the comic. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to read it. <laughs> I'm going to grab one too. Yeah, okay. <laughs>